Just a quick demonstration of the four channel digital mic array I made working with ODAS. Um, it's tracking some horrible fan noise at the rear on my MacBook Air, a MacBook Pro um, running uh, Ubuntu Linux and the fan is just set to on 100%. So it's pretty loud. So it's detecting that as a sound voice source at the rear. It looks like it's flipping between, it can't decide whether it's minus 180 or plus 180, that's the border of the 360 degree. So it's probably flipping up and down. So I'll just keep talking and track slowly around the microphone and you should see my one of the blobs tracking around to the, the right hand side and hopefully my voice is louder than the fan. Um, I'm not going to go right round to the rear of the microphone because this house just isn't big enough, or this room I should say. Uh, as I come back it should be around zero degrees in the centre of the azimuth plane. Ignore the elevation, it can't detect elevation because we'd need a second a microphone spaced in the vertical axis for that to work. Of course we could do that. And uh, we can go around to the other side, just keep talking. And I'll go around to, to 90, degree, 90 degrees off axis over to the side here. And I could go around to the rear a bit, just go all the way around. So right now it should be at around minus 180. So I um, don't know if that's being detected, but we'll see. Um, I have no idea what the screen capture software is doing to the CPU usage. But... Um, ODAS like, is it written in C, so it's pretty lightweight. In fact, the visualization part is using about 15% CPU on an i7, but clocks at 2.3 GHz, so, and the actual library is using virtually none. Um, so, uh, okay, that should be it for now. It's just a quick look at it working. Uh, if you, I sent you the array. But this is using a different firmware, the demo for the, the one I sent you. So I'd have to flash it to USB firmware to use it with ODAS, but I don't know. Um, there's also another, I'm looking into uh, voice print detection with this. And I'm talking to uh, the people at ODAS, well, the people at Cambridge, in, in uh, Canada University. Uh, they have a voice print detection, which they might be able to hook up to this software, they've already written it, so uh, it sounds quite interesting. So it can detect who's actually speaking in more than one speaker in one environment. Um, yeah, so that's it, I'm going to keep it short. Okay, go off. This should be zero degrees. Should slip up, yeah. All right, that gives you a rough idea. I'll try and do it from further away. Go to this nice degrees to the side. Down to the back. There it flips. All right.